Hotwire, the one thing that we knew is that we had to own the network. Um, and we had to be in charge of quality of service, delivery, timeframes to our customers. So in evaluating you know, what was available at the time, we really saw that bandwidth um, was going to be the predominant product going forward. The internet was you know, just starting. And if you're going to be a broadband or internet first company, fiber was the clear technological choice to do that. In 2005, when we first started to do communities in Florida, we were putting in one gigabit ONTs, which was unheard of at the time. And those communities, of, of many of them have signed new 10-year contracts with Hotwire, and one gigabit is still state of the art. We wanted to make sure that we were putting in the best technology ground up when these new buildings were built. We went to luxury and other gated communities like Frenchman's Creek, St. Andrews, who were very concerned about keeping their communities technologically uh, competitive with the new product that was being developed. And so it really resonated with them that, you know, the new uh, fiber that we're putting in uh, a new construction development in downtown Brickell um, would be the same technology that they'd want to keep their communities uh, relevant. I would say 100% of our business is based on word of mouth referral and 97% of the communities that the contract has expired um, have re-signed with Hotwire for another 10 years. I always say that customers choose us because of our technology, but they refer us because of our customer service. And it's the one thing that we really saw lacking in you know, telecommunications and, and with other uh, of our competitors that they, they didn't put people first. We have a call center that is all Hotwire employees based in the communities that we serve. We don't use outsourced call centers. We answer our phones in 30 seconds. And we really invested in high quality people. You know, we have dedicated technicians. We don't outsource our, our technical support staff. And we have the same um, employees who are dedicated to the communities. And day after day, they're familiar with the communities, they're familiar with the residents, the layout of the homes. And there's an accountability there and a pride because they're in charge of that community. When we first install a customer, we have a separate QC staff that comes behind, uh, does like a 50 checkpoint uh, a survey and assessment uh, of that home installation. Because if you do things the right way the first time, you don't need to come back. So, you know, really it boils down to doing uh, a good job in terms of the installation, you know, using state-of-the-art technology. And then if there is an issue, because with, with anything there can be problems and, and issues, that occur post installation, making sure that you have the right staff to respond quickly um, to any issue that could arise. We've always just been focused on the work rather than talking about the work, and we're only as good as our last successful installation, our last happy customer. You know, I think that the reason that we've grown 20% a year is because there is a huge demand for fiber. There's a huge demand for quality bandwidth. Um, and, you know, we're the only and the first company in, in Florida to do fiber to the home. We continue to open up new markets. There's a big demand for Gigabit and for Howares products and services. So we're continuing to, to open new, new markets, Jacksonville and Tampa. We're continuing to expand our fiber footprint, not only to residential communities, but also to cities and other communities as well. I'm really excited about the work we're doing in Smart City, enabling uh, governments to provide um, a safer environment for their citizens, um, and using technology to you know, do things like open up the ability to have self-driving cars, and to just offer you know, a safer environment through upgrading older lighting to LED lighting, having technology be able to provide you know, safer communities.